hi guys welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing with you how i leverage artificial intelligence such as chat gpt and grammarly to optimize my business and to be more productive stay tuned and let's make this money together okay guys you know i'm all about making money doing side hustles and multiple streams of income leveraging your pay your nine to five to create your own business so today i'm gonna go ahead and get right into it now these are some of the designs i've created and i'm gonna show you how yourself can go ahead get these designs put them on a shirt and sell them in your etsy store or whichever platform that you choose to so the first thing I want to show well of course you're gonna to need to set up your Etsy shop if you want for me to create a separate video giving you a walkthrough tutorial on how to create your Etsy store let me know in the comment section below because I'll got you covered okay now the company that I'll be demonstrating to you um, today with <laughs> is Printify I use this you can start for free now I'm gonna go ahead and log in because of course I've used it I've been using it for my company all right and then of course you're gonna need to link your store let me know if you want for me to walk you through doing all of that link in your Etsy store you're gonna create your Etsy store first and then link it to your Printify account okay here if you do um, premium account you can get 20% discount on all your products so the first thing I want to show you is how I create the products now the what you want to do is so for example you're in your Etsy store right you want to go to Etsy marketplace and you're gonna buy like SVGs now you want to sell things that are in demand so say for example um, I'm gonna type in mom this tool right here, this search bar is a great tool to search for keywords and what shoppers are searching for. As you can see, mom shirt is most popular, mom gift. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do mom SVG and they're looking for a mom search, for example. So mom SVG, for some reason, my thing doesn't click on it. If you know how, <laughs> I can just go here and click and my stuff comes up in the search result. Let me know, please, because I've been having a hard time to figuring it out. So let me know in the comment below. So mom SVG, you're gonna click search, okay? And these one are the most loved. So you can click, um, let me see. Go through here, see what you like, for example. And these are bundles, 12 designs for $1.82. They are having a 50% off. But say for example, we go here. Just a mom trying not to raise that word. Uh, ma, because mama runs the, okay. So these are, have a few expletives. Um, let me show you another one. And to each his own, if you want to sell stuff like that, it's fine. I believe I do have some in my shop. I just don't like to use those words out loud. I was raised in a Christian home and I still have um, certain morals and beliefs. Okay, so mama needs coffee, for example. So these are cut files, all right? And then you can put them on your shirt. I'll show you how. I'm not going to necessarily use mama ones. I just wanted to show you how I do my research to get um, designs to put on my shirts, okay? So I'm gonna go to Printify. I already bought some designs, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my products and I'm gonna go to my favorites. And these are some of the shirts that I've favorited, I've researched and favorited because I like how they um, feel, the pricing is right, um, because I don't want it to be too expensive for my customers. For example, we're gonna go ahead and do a unisex shirt um, because, you know, one for, to be for both men and women. So here we've got a unisex heavy cotton tee. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. So heavy cotton me is not gonna be so soft. If you want to sell soft um, tees, look for the one that says soft instead of heavy, okay? Just a good um, quick pointer right there. <laughs> all right, and then they're showing the suppliers here, all right? The price that it would be for if you don't have the premium version of Printify if you do you'd pay eight dollars 18 cents instead the shipping would be six dollars 79 to ship to the customer this would be deducted from your overall from your um your overall cost from Printify it's a, it has a um, two to three days 
uh, processing production time and they print on the front these are the colors and the sizes now i've used monster digital before so i'm going to go ahead and click on that that's the product i'm going to use so i'm going to click here start designing so i'm going to start designing my product okay and i'm going to go ahead and click on my device so when you click on my device you're going to be able to select select um a design from your desktop or wherever you saved your stuff so here I have a folder right here I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and my Etsy PNG over here I'm gonna click on that and some of these I've already designed so I'm gonna scroll down to the one that I want to do now and let's try this one out I'm gonna click on it click open and it's gonna add the file to my library here it is these sections do not pull your design outside of these sections because it's going to be printed with it um, cropped off so you want to ensure that it's within the printable area I'm just going to move it around so that it can be positioned how I want it and I try to bring it out as much as possible so the print can be as big and nice and big as possible on the shirt but not too much where it's cutting off any of the design so this right here is perfect i think now i want to be able to sell this in various colors so my customers have color variations so i go ahead and click select and of course it's a black text the black design so you want to select colors that will show okay now if you want to add multiple layers you can go ahead and add a different design but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to do it with this one we're going to go ahead and click and then you can put it on the back as well but we're not going to it costs more to print on the back as well we're just going to do front now we're going to click on save product and here are your mock-ups okay now for the back view i uncheck this personally if you want to do it it's fine um, the color that I want to display in my Etsy store, I'm going to leave it at green. I doubt I have a green on there right now. So I'm going to leave it at green. And then you have different persons, um, you know, wearing the shirt, showing how it would look on the bodies. You can make this be your main photo or you can just have the plain one. For example, this is showing it with a jacket. However, you see the jacket is cut, cut it's cutting off most of the words so i wouldn't use that one yeah maybe I'm, I'm gonna use this guy for the cover photo okay and if you want if you want to change a title image color you can go here and choose that but i'm not gonna do that as mentioned i'm just gonna do this the green with the guy okay and then we're not gonna publish yet we're gonna go ahead and scroll down if you want more mock-ups because sometimes you go on Etsy and you see beautiful mock-ups. If you want more mock-ups, just go to place it and you can pay for your membership and you get mock-ups so you can put your design on, okay? Now, listing details. This is so important. You can put everything, well, as well as a title and description here. And then once you publish it, it will sync to your Etsy store. Now, title, description, they're super important. It determines how you're ranked, where some of the, these are two of the things that determine how you're ranked on Etsy store. Will your customers be finding you or your potential customers be finding your product? Okay, and it, this is where the research comes in. You're gonna have to research um, strong keywords and titles and everything like that. Now, I've got you. Of course, there's a buzz about ChatGPT and it's been helping me so much in my Etsy store and I'm going to show you how. Now for the title, right, what I normally do is I look what is written on the shirt. I don't just ride on the crazy train, I drive it. <laughs> now, I think that's a funny quote. Okay, so I don't just ride on the crazy train, I drive it. So I go over to ChatGPT and I put... Write me a keyword rich title with the phrase, I don't just ride on the crazy train, I drive it for my Etsy store. And then I press enter. All right, so embrace the madness. I don't just ride on the crazy train, I drive it. Shop now for hilarious and fearless products. So 
I go in and I edit this. So say for example, I go ahead and copy this. I go over back to Printify. I go to where the topic, the title is. And it didn't really give me much. So at times I go back in and I tweak what I want. Um, for example, all right. Um, so instead of products, I would say shirt. All right, and I'll go back over here and I would say, write me a keyword rich title for unisex t-shirt. And just play around with it guys because it's not gonna always give you um, what you want, okay? So unleash your unisex style, bold and versatile t-shirts for every occasion, shop now for trendy and comfortable apparel. Now, I would say trendy and comfortable. I'm gonna take these keywords and put it in. As mentioned, I don't use everything that Chat, Chat GPT gives me. And paste that right here. And this arrow message, as you can see, there aren't any uh, symbols or anything. So that means there may be a space. So I put the cursor there and then this backspace and that should fix it. There we go, okay? So hilarious and fearless shirt, trendy. I'm, I'm not sure if anyone is typing in, <laughs> searching using these keywords. Trendy and comfortable apparel, embrace the madness, da, da, da. And then here you can see you've used 132 out of 40 characters. Um, what I'm going to do is maybe put the word unisex here. Okay. Now, ChatGPT dishes this out for you, but your title is super important as well as your tags and everything like that. So I'm going to show you one extra step I take after using ChatGPT to actually give me some ideas, keywords, ideas. I go ahead and say, so for example, I'm going to copy this section right here and then I go to E-Rank. They do have a free account. So going to enter this keyword here in E-Rank and let's see if anyone is searching for this. Okay. So we entered Illyris and Fearless unisex shirt and let's scroll down. Shirt, the competition is crazy. <laughs> Over 10 million, almost 11 million. Um, it's not a long tail keyword. Huh. Unisex, Fearless. So the competition is not too high for the word fearless. There has been 40,500 searches on Google and it's a long tail keyword, it says yes. So fearless is a good keyword to have in my description or my title. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, there's a lot of shirt, unisex shirt being sold and stuff like that, so don't be alarmed by this too much. Now let's scroll down. Illyria, so we got 390 Google searches. That's not a lot, I would say. So maybe I'm gonna scrap that keyword or maybe I'll just keep it just to see how it performs. Let's see if at least one person over to this 390 would buy something. <laughs> um, Illyria shirt, okay. And these are the keywords that he got me um, as it relates to these. So I'm going to leave it as is right there. And the good thing about it is you can always go back in and optimize your title and your description. Now, for your description, I'm gonna go ahead and tell ChatGPT to write me a description for this shirt. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna copy this right here, go to ChatGPT, and I'm going to tell her, does ChatGPT has a um, gender? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna tell it. <laughs> for example, this one, write me a funny product description of profitable keywords. So, stop typing in that, all that out. I'm gonna go like so, copy this, come back down here. Write me a funny product description of profitable keywords. I'm gonna put in my colon for my unisex shirt well let's see oh, t let's use that keyword right so we're gonna click enter and let chat gpt does its thing all 
and I really like how it writes the descriptions. And then you can read it and take out what you don't like. So I'm going to go ahead and read it off screen and then I'm going to tell you the next step. ChatGPT is great, however there's something called plagiarism and getting sued and stuff like that. So I don't just take what ChatGPT dishes out to me. I take it to another level and I go to my Grammarly account and I check for any plagiarism. Okay, so I click new, I go ahead and I paste what ChatGPT gives to me. So I come down here to where it says plagiarism on my Grammarly account. I click plagiarism and then it says 4% match this sentence right here. Um, and it's, it's found on in this source right here. It's part of the, the, the shirt title. I don't just write on the crazy tree and I drive it. It seems like this is the same um, Etsy store. Let's just click on it for the heck of it. And we're going to go to the reference source. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like it's a design bundle. They're being sold over here. So it's not necessarily a copyright. It's a phrase that someone else has selling out there. So we should be good. All right. So now I'm going to go to Printify and I normally leave this here. Paste. All right. It's all good right there. All right. I'm going to scroll down. We're going to, for shipping, we're going to leave to automatically assign a new shipping profile. So Printify will be responsible for doing that. Now for the sizes, we're going to do all. So we're going to select all right here. Printify do give you suggested profit margins. I normally leave it as is. And remember Etsy will take fees out of your profit, especially if you, especially if you're going to do like discounts and um, run sales and stuff like that. The shipping is 475, which is not bad at all. And as you can see, as you go up in sizes, the price increase for the product as well so we're gonna leave it as is and down here we're gonna say only show in stock variants and hide any out of stock variants so your customers won't be seeing any out of stock items okay now these are automatically selected they're grayed out but they're automatically selected and we want the mock-ups and we're gonna go ahead and select publish And it says one out of 85 out of stock. It's uploading the images now. So while the images are uploading, remember we're gonna need tags for our product. So I'm gonna go over to ChatGPT again and ask ChatGPT to give me competitive tags. So you don't have to write out everything again. Remember, we did the title, we did the description. So what I do, I speak to ChatGPT at times like I'm speaking to someone else. So I type in, now give me high ranking and profitable keywords for this shirt. And I click enter. Okay, so it gave me 13 of them. And another way that you can phrase this, right, is to say, <clears throat> excuse me, now give me high ranking and profitable tags, since it's really tags that I'll be needing. And again, once ChatGPT dishes these out for you, you can go ahead and put it in E rank and check to see how competitive these words are. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and copy these tags. And it's uploading images now, but I should still be able to see it over in my Etsy store. So, and let's see if it's here yet. Here it is right here. So while it's uploading the images, you can go ahead and start your editing on Etsy. And here we go for tags. So we're going to paste what ChatGPT gave to us.
Okay guys, so I have all 13 tags in and then you can enter uh, material information here as well. The shipping, I'm gonna say got it right there for that message right there. Here, Printify created your shipping profile for you. I'm not gonna mess with that, let's leave it as is. Right now, my shop is set to no, set to no returns or exchanges only because these are done to order items. However, my, so my buyers can contact me if they have any issues with their orders. The shop section that I'm, I'm gonna put this in, let's see, funny and sarcastic tease, let's put it there. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on publish changes. All right, and then you can go to your store right here and you can click view on Etsy so you can see how your customers will be seeing your item. So here it is. I can scroll through and see the different colors. Thank you so very much for watching this video, guys. If you like it, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share with someone who you know wants to get into the e-commerce business and would like to help along the way as it relates to this content. Let's get this money together, y'all. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.